we're going to create the HDR effect using just one single image. Let's go to File, Open in Photoshop. Let's open up a single image. This is a JPEG. So it's already been processed. Now we're going to go to Image. Uh, this was a Camera Raw file. I went ahead and opened it up in uh, Camera Raw and made some adjustments and saved it as a JPEG. Going to Image, Adjustments, HDR Toning. It's going to give me a default. Basically, it's going to do the work for me. Um, if I don't like that, I can try some of these other options here. You can also, I believe this toning curve and histogram is defaulted to uh, not be open. You can twirl it open. Also, make sure preview is checked if you want to see what's going on. Uh, so if we take photorealistic, we can edit the curves. Uh, let's try another one. Also, I believe if you use custom, it just gives you, yeah, uh, you can just work on it from here. But anytime you change it to, like, let's say photorealistic, if you make a change, like increasing the detail, it will automatically con convert your preset to custom. Once you're satisfied, click OK. And you've basically created not an actual HDR image, but the HDR effect to your image.